Congratulations, you've now reached the end of the right to privacy introduction and principles. We hope you've learned about the scale and breadth of the right and the challenges that those working on the topic are faced with. You should also have grasped some of the principles that underpin laws in the area of data protection and communication surveillance. We also hope that some of the stories of success from civil society have inspired you to take action. There is always a need for more people from all different walks of life to become involved in the debate about the right to privacy. And if this course has helped you to want to do that, then it's been a success. If you're interested to learn more about the data and technology side of things, you should consider taking the next course, Right to Privacy, Data and Surveillance. Thanks again for taking time to participate in the course.